What up my earth signs, it's your girl BU and I'm back again with another video. The title of this video is, How Do They Feel About Me? And alright, without further ado, let's get into your reading. Alright, I pulled the Eight of Cups, Temperance, Justice, and the Hangman. Eight of Cups, Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Temperance is Sagittarius, Justice is Libra, and the Hangman is Pisces. Alright, so let me tell you what I see. What I see is you walked away from a dog. Because when I get, I clarified the Eight of Cups with, and got the rider. So whenever I see the rider, whenever I, whenever I see that card, I know you did, you was dealing with somebody that just didn't give a rat's ass about your feelings. This person was a player. Someone who didn't, be, who didn't want to be in a committed relationship anymore because they probably found somebody else. Well, at least they thought. But anywho... <clears throat> Um, the only thing that these person, people are committed to is lying, cheating, and, and constant betrayal. This person was very charming. These people know how to say the right things at the right time. And they know how to, they know how to touch all your spots and get you hot and bothered too. You know what I'm saying? This is a very selfish person who does what the hell they want to do without, any, without, without even considering your feelings. You probably found many numbers in this person's phone. They say a lot of shit to you that don't mean shit. So, anywho, yeah, with the temperance, I see that they want to come back. They want to reconcile. They want to bring balance back into the relationship. And with the justice card, you know, that's the same That's the same as the temperance card, wanting rec uh, reconciliation and wanting to uh, bring balance. So, this person's probably blowing up your phone, really trying to get back into your good graces, really trying to get back with you because they realize whoever they went ran to wasn't about shit. So they know here they come running back to you, running back to you, probably telling you they ain't going to do no more lying, they ain't going to do no more cheating. They want to be with you and you only. They, Yeah, with the hangman, yeah, they stuck. I clarified that and got the, uh, the storks. So yeah, they don't want to move. They telling you they don't want to move on without you. They stuck. They stuck on you. They ain't messing with nobody else. Yeah, but what does your intuition say? And why is this person an ex? You know, people are exes for a reason. You know what I mean? But anyway, I um, pulled... Excuse me. I pulled four cards and got from the romance... Romance oracle... The oracle cards from Doreen Virtue. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. All right, let's read what they say. Dum, dum, dum. The romance angel sent you this card to help you notice the unhealthy or dis discrediting, discerning parts of your relationship. If you are swept up in a new romance, this card serves as a cautionary warning. Pay attention to your feelings and impressions with regard to your new suitor. Don't allow emotion to blind you to the characteristics or habits that won't work for your uh for your for you in a relationship. A red flag is a sign that something is off. It can include an in indication of dishonesty, disrespect, flirtatiousness with others, substance abuse, lack of integrity. While your new love interest may treat you wonderfully well in the beginning of your relationship, it is vital that you watch how he or she treats others. Someone's basic character is revealed by the way in which he or she talks and acts with restaurant staff, valet parking attendants, and other miscellaneous individuals. If you're in an existing relationship, these red flags may signal a need for a uh, honest mutual discussion or couples counseling. This card doesn't necessarily guide you to leave a relationship. Red flags can be uh, markers along the path of healing. The romance angels, angels will guide you to take steps that are healthy for everyone involved. So do follow your intuition. Yeah, follow your intuition when they do call and hit you up. You better not go back to them. You better see right through that shit. It's another game. It's just another game. Silly, silly love song that they're playing. Understand that. They are not serious this time. When they come back, and if you're already talking to them, they are not genuine. They coming with the same old shit. Beware. 
The next card I pulled was the earth sign. So yeah, some, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. So let's read what that say. Stable, secure, and abundant. The energy of earth nurtures life and promotes long leisure pleasures. The things we need to, the things we need, the things we want, and the material and the temporal things we value are expressed here. The acquiring and distribution of resources is at, it, is at the center of the earth energy. Bring the quality of earth to a situa situation through generosity of your material goods, resources, and time. The earth is slow and sure. So take an unhurried, calm approach and avoid sudden or unexpected actions. Create a calm place in the center of chaotic energy. Yeah, so... Yeah. So when this my when this demon show back up, be cautious, be aware of that snake tongue. Be aware, cause they gonna use their charms. They gonna try to charm their way back up into your heart, back between your legs, or in the bed. However, just understand, spirit is saying this person is not genuine. The next card I pulled was solitude. Um, alone but not lonely. Let me see what that got to say. Introspection is the key now. Take some time away from others. The answers are the answers are within you. Explore the concepts of self nurture, self value, self truth. Are you treating yourself gently, or are you rough and impatient with yourself? Solitude isn't loneliness. It is an opportunity to pause and allow the entire serene universe to wrap its arms around you. It, it, it's when you have the peace to be hugged by life. Aww. The butterfly kisses the maiden's shoulder, a tender reminder that after a period of darkness, a cocooning of the senses, a glorious winged creature emerges from the chrysalis and is free to explore the delight in herself and others. A new leaf shoots from her thumb in yoga. The thumb represents fire, universal conscience, from period of quiet of solitude, quiet solitude, fresh inspiration and motivation can emerge. Yes. So the spirit is saying, take time to yourself. Yes. Do not mess with this person. Keep going. Stay to yourself. Be true to yourself. Focus on you. Don't let snakes and devils back in. You probably at your low at your lowest point, you know what I'm saying? And that's when you're at your lowest, this is when the devil comes knocking on the door. When you're high high vibing, he don't, you know what I'm saying? He can't mess with you. But when you at your lowest, yeah, they try to creep their ass back in. No, let him let his ass stay outside. Let their ass stay outside. Whoever this is. All right, the next card I pulled was the Eight of Wands from the Sex Magic Tarot. Yeah, like this person came with savor in the moment. Savor in the moment. Yeah, he's probably calling. They probably calling, constantly calling, blowing up your phone. Because whatever they went and did didn't work out. Now they back on your coattail. Now they back on your line. And you'll be getting fast messages from this person if you already have it. Yeah, but they up to no good. All right, I'm, all right, my beautiful earth signs. I'm going to leave that here for y'all. If this resonated, please like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, peace.